welcome to another moment of truth. Last time we had a wonderful time and I believe God that God is ministering life to us. We are looking at Jesus Christ. What has he got to say? He said, but I say, Hebrews chapter 1. Hebrews chapter 1, verse number 1. The Bible says, God, who at sundry times and in diverse manner has been speaking to prophets, has been speaking to so many people, has in these last days, this last days, spoken to us by who? By his son. So if any prophet has come to you and they are telling you something contrary to what the master has said, the authority himself, the only one that can tell you, I say, Sir, don't listen to them. Go and listen to what the Bible says Jesus Christ said. Though we are talking about the issue of divorce and remarriage. And I got to a point where we, I just suddenly remember that, oh, we are even living in a time of polyandry. Poly, everything is now happening. I had a case of a man who himself and the wife, they are married. And they purported to be Christian. Christian. And they are married. The wife has an official partner outside that she sleeps with whenever she's tired with her husband. The husband has an official lady she sleeps with whenever she's tired, he's tired with, her, with his wife. Christian, I don't know, maybe there are two heavens. I doubt people, you are not going to the same heaven I am going to. Because my, the master didn't say, he said, but I say the two, not many, not all, shall be one flesh. Matthew 19, 6. And I love the thing that he told them. He said, but Moses told us, he told them, he said, they said, Moses asked us to give them a letter of divorce. And Jesus Christ looked at them in the face and he pointed to them. Maybe I'm pointing to somebody here. May God deliver you. He said to them, Moses, because of the hardness of your hearts. Some of you, you are too hard-hearted. And you want to bring your hardness into Christianity. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. You cannot walk your way with the righteousness of God. It is not possible. If, the, if you are allowing the government of your nation to determine what, comes out, what becomes of your relationship, I'm sorry for you. You are not a child of God. If you are a child of God, you will walk by the rule of him that is above, the God of heaven himself, Jesus Christ. He said, but I say, what therefore God has joined together, that addresses those of you that want to just divorce by every means. We are going our ways. What is it that that fellow has done against you that you must go your way? Excuse me. He said, but for only for fornication, even at that, he didn't say go and divorce. But if you cannot endure, yes, for fornication, you can go your way and separate. He didn't say go and divorce. Go and just separate as it were. But please, divorce is not an option for you. Let God be in your life if you are a child of God. Let God visit you. Let God speak to you. That is what the master has said. But I say, so please don't put your wife away. Don't go away from your husband. Let the spirit of God rule. Let the hand of the Lord rest upon the two of you. If the master has forgiven you several sins, go and reflect on Matthew chapter 18 and read all through the chapter. Otherwise, don't let God deliver you into the hand of a tormentor. The master said you have heard of old. You can divorce anyhow, but I am telling you now, you cannot. The master is saying, but I say, you cannot. The one who created them from the beginning created them male and female, not male and several female, or not one female and several males, as the case may be. Therefore, go back to your prayer room. Go back to your secret chamber and follow exactly what the master said. Whosoever shall put away his wife, saving for that cause of conversation, you cause her to commit adultery. And whoever marries her also commit adultery. So those of you, those ministers of God. Oh, may you hear this one. Every minister of God that is sleeping with widow, or that is sleeping with divorcee, go and repent before it is too late. Because it's dangerous. You are walking in the danger of hell. Repent before it is too late and follow what the master has said. He said, you have heard anything can happen in the olden days, but I, the master, have said it. You have committed adultery and you are helping her to commit adultery. God will help you as you go in the course of the week. The almighty God will perfect your way. It is my prayer that you will receive the grace to live the Christian life. You will receive the grace to follow the way of Christ. You will receive the grace to fulfill the master. Remember, 
Jesus Christ, the Bible says, God has committed all judgment into the hand of the Son. And the Son said, I said, this is what you should do. If I were you, I will obey the Son to the letter, so that when I appear before him on the day of judgment, if he is going to condemn him, he is going to be condemning himself, because I followed his word to the letter. Go and follow the word of the Master to the letter, and you will not be condemned at the end. In the name of Jesus Christ, go and be your best, and go and be the best child of God you can ever be, in the name of Jesus Christ. Have a wonderful week. The Lord bless you.